Hello friends, this is teacher JB. Uh, we're studying 41 basic English grammar rules. And today we are studying relative clothes. Relative clothes. Relative clothes helps define or give us extra or additional information about things or people we're talking about. Relative clause starts with relative pronouns, such as who, which, that, whose, whom, or relative adverbs, where, when, why. Who refer to people, which refer to things or animals, that refer to people, animals or things, and can replace which or who, that's informal. Whose refer to possession, whom refer to people, used instead of who, if who is the object. Where refer to places, when refer to time, why refer to reasons. So let's study some patterns. Pattern one, relative pronoun, adverb, plus subject and verb. The present, which he gave me, was just amazing. So the present was amazing, but which he gave me, this is a relative clause defining or supporting the present. So the present was given by, uh, by, by him. The present which he gave me was just amazing. That uh, memorable moment was the time when he kissed me for the first time. Jack sent me a job offer that I couldn't decline. So relative pronoun or adverb plus subject and verb. Subject and verb, subject and verb, subject and verb. Pattern two, relative pronoun as subject and verb. So relative pronoun itself is a subject here. The girl who is standing next to John is my younger sister. The girl is my younger sister, and then who is the subject, and this is the verb. Who is standing next to John is my younger sister. Venus flytrap is a plant which traps insects. So this one, which is subject, traps is the verb. Henry is a man who is very kind and friendly. So who is the subject is the verb. There are two types of relative clause, defining and non-defining relative clause. Defining relative clause is add detail about a particular noun that is defined. They give essential important information about the people, things being referred to. Without defining relative clause, the meanings would not remain the same. Venus fire trap is a plant, and then which traps insects. So this is defining a plant. This is the evidence which greatly affected the case. So this, the evidence is defined by which clause. I'm going to show you a, a video which was made by the most famous American film director. Now, please take a note. The pronoun who, which can be replaced by that in spoken language. And then this will be quite informal. Informal. We don't use comma in defining relative clause. Venus fly trap is a plant which traps insects. This was the evidence which greatly affected the case. So pay attention to the second note. We don't use comma in defining relative clauses. But non-defining relative clause, non-defining relative clauses give extra non-essential, this is non-essential information about people or things. It does not affect the meanings of the whole sentence. Without defining relative clause, the meaning would remain the same. Mr. David, 
who is an inspiring teacher, won the Global T uh, Teacher Prize in 2018, or Prize 2018. So this who is an inspiring teacher is not necessary. So without this, the sentence still makes sense. And so clear, but this is going to be additional. And in this case, you need a comma. I've just come back from England, which is a very beautiful country. So you came back from England, that's enough, but which is a very beautiful country. This is an extra additional information. My two puppies, comma, which were only six years old, are taken care of uh, very carefully. So my two puppies are taken care of very carefully. This is the main sentence. And then you don't need which were only six uh, days old. So without this clause, the sentence still makes sense. But this will be additional information. And this one you call non-defining. And take a note on those things. We don't use that for non-defining relative clause. So we don't use that for non-defining. So this is just comma. And then this one you use only which and who, but not that. We always use comma in non-defining relative clause. Mr. David, Comma, who is an inspiring teacher, comma, won the Global Teacher Prize 2018. So this is the main sentence, which doesn't need this, but if you want, you can use this as an additional information. And I've just come back from England again. So this one is enough, and then you, you have comma with this non-defining relative clause. Okay, friends, this is the conclusion of today's study. I'll come back to you with another topic as soon as possible. Until then, keep studying English and have a great day. Bye.